Welcome back to CSS to Beginners. In this video, we're going to be talking more about um, properties that you can apply to your CSS styles. It's just going to be a short video. So, in the previous videos, we actually wrote our very first bit of CSS and it looked a bit like this. Let me just zoom in for you. It looked like that. And again, we talked about this is a selector, whatever appears here is a declaration, this is a property and these are values. And what we're going to talk about in this video is the different types of properties that we can actually apply to our selectors. So, as you can see, I've applied a color and a font size property to this piece of text. Other things that I can do, other properties, I can say, right, okay, I want to do a font family. Now, as you can see, what's really nice about Dreamweaver is that as I start typing these um, properties in, they appear for me and I can just double click them and then it comes up with the values that I can have for that property. There are other applications out there that you can get that will do this, but Dreamweaver is really good and I know it's expensive, but um, if you have it, then I would suggest using it. If not, again, you can use Notepad to write your CSS, but um, the, the basic Notepad won't do this. So you can find um, software out there if you just do a Google search. However, I'm not here to focus on the software that's available, I'm here to focus on what the properties are that you can apply. So we've got a font family property. Now I wanted to talk about this one a little bit because the font family property is one that uh, confuses a few people and I want to explain why. So as you can see here, the font property, um, font family, sorry, property has got a value of Arial, comma, Helvetica, comma, sans serif and then close it with a semicolon. So just close the value with the semicolon. Now, the way that um, fonts used to work on websites, and I say used to work because that's very important, is that um, I'm just going to zoom out and I'm going to try and illustrate this a little bit better. So, what used to happen when we built a website is that we would create um, HTML files. We would create HTML files. Duh, 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 duh html files and we would publish them and they would go to the web the world wide web and they would appear on someone's browser so this is a browser that browser might be something like um, internet explorer nowadays we've got chrome we've got firefox we've got opera we've got safari etc etc and our our content would appear on our web browser now the thing is, a web browser is a piece of software, and that software sits on a computer. That software sits on somebody's computer. Now, whenever we used to write um, a font family property, and that font family, again, if, I, if you remember, it had things like, if I just go across again and just show you, it didn't just say Arial. It didn't just say, okay, the font that I want to use is Arial. It said Arial, comma, Helvetica, sans serif, etc. And there's a reason for that. Because when we uh, used to uh, refer to a font family, the way that it worked was that the font that you uh, reference in your CSS or in your HTML, it does not embed itself into the browser it actually says, right, the fonts that are on my uh, website must come from the client's computer. That must mean that if I had a font family of Arial referenced on my HTML or in my CSS, that that font must sit on this computer that is viewing my website. Otherwise, it won't appear. So what, what we do is we actually say, well, look, if they haven't got Arial, comma, then choose another font, and that font might be Helvetica. So if this computer hasn't got Arial installed on it, then look to see if it's got Helvetica. If it hasn't got Helvetica installed on it, then look for any sans serif font. Now, don't want to confuse you, but a sans serif font is a font that doesn't have the little tick things, these things here, on it. These are called serifs. So these little tick things are called a serif. And sans means without. So sans serif font 
means without these little ticks. So I would say, right, use Arial as the font on my web page, but if the computer hasn't got it, use Helvetica. If the computer hasn't got that either, then just pick any sans serif font that is on that computer and use that on my web browser. So that's why when I write this piece of code here, it says font family, Arial Helvetica sans serif. That's why we do it. Now later on, uh, a lot later on, we're going to talk about how something called at font face has now appeared. I say now, it's been around a while, where you can actually get a font and embed that in your website. So it doesn't matter whether the computer has got the font or not. You will actually embed the font in your website and it'll appear. So obviously that's fantastic because it'll give you chances to work with typography on your website. You won't be restricted to just the fonts that appear on someone's computer. So other properties, I've digressed a little bit there. Other properties, we could say, right, I want the color to be orange, font size 34, font family Arial. I might want to do something like a font, um, oops, I might want to do something like a font weight. And a font weight, I can apply things like, um, you know, bold. I can have it lighter, etc. And the, the, the best advice that I can give you, I'm going to give you two pieces of advice. First of all, if you've got Dreamweaver, um, when you want to have a look at what properties are available, this list is just so extensive uh, that you can just play around with it. And you know that, that's the best advice I can give. Just play around with these different styles and see what they do. And if you're really stuck because, let's say, for example, you haven't got Dreamweaver, I'm going to recommend a website, uh, it's this website, w3schools.com, that basically gives you everything you need to know about CSS. It gives you every um, property that you can use, every value that you can use. It explains it really well, actually. And if you're a learner that learns well through just reading text, then this is a great website to go, uh, to, go to and learn it. But, I mean, for example, just by going to this web address here, w3schools.com slash cssref slash default.asp uh, this basically just gives you an outline of all the different properties um, that you can use and there are lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of different properties that you can use so um, do have a play around with the different properties do see what they do so you can see here look that I've set up a font family and a font weight let's just save that go back in here and see what it's done well, there you go. Look, it set the font family to Arial. Okay, so it was Times New Roman before. Um, if I just show you that, so what I had before, if I just cut this out. What I had before was this. So I did have it as orange and font size 34, but it was in Times New Roman. By going into my text.css and applying this piece of code, font family and font weight, saving it, I then apply. Uh, Arial as the font and it's bold. So again, you can see the beauty of CSS. If I want to change lots, um, lots of properties of a piece of text on many, many pages, I've just got to change the code here once. So it's a short video. I just wanted to introduce you to properties. I've paid particular focus on the font family. I've given you a great website that you can go to to find out more properties in case you're interested. And in the next video tutorial, we're going to talk about different ways of writing our selectors and um, using something called div tags in our index.html to start not only styling the, um, the text that's on our pages, but we're also going to start styling the layout, so how things are placed on our screen. Okay.